Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video for you that'll show you how to connect a GoDaddy domain to Weebly. Just before I do so, if you haven't tried Weebly before, you can give it a click in the link in the description down below and that'll take you straight through to a free trial version of Weebly then for you to utilize and give it a go. So with it, a domain link to a currently existing website, um, you'll need to go to settings on the website builder. And then it's the first option at the top here. You can see that I've already assigned it to a random domain from earlier on today when I was doing a tutorial. And you can select this one that you already own a domain, being as you've purchased it with GoDaddy. Then you'll need to type that domain in. So um, you'll need to include the www dot as well. And I'm going to just type that in myself, the one that I own in GoDaddy. And then once you've done so, this connect your domain option will appear. It'll kind of light up so you can select it. Then uh, what you want to select then is make the DNS changes yourself. So there's a couple of ways this can go, which I've discovered with GoDaddy recently. And then it's given you instructions then, kind of loose instructions, and you can access detailed instructions for GoDaddy right there. Uh, that's kind of like a, just a tutorial document that they've put together, Weebly. Um, however, when I access my GoDaddy, so when I go to my GoDaddy account, and when I go to DNS on the site that I want to connect, it doesn't let me edit. So I've kind of done a little bit of research, and you know the idea is that you've got to edit this these DNS records. That's what these instructions are kind of telling you is log into your domain's control panel, you know, change the D DNS settings and create two records. So when it comes to doing that in GoDaddy, it doesn't allow me to do so. So you can't edit the ones that currently exist. You can create a, um, you know, like a, a record manually. And then the IP address you can copy from here. And as you can see that it, it tells you then to create an A record and then to use the at symbol and copy that IP address there. And then you'd paste that in as so. And leave that. And you could add that as a record. And then you'll need to add a second record then as it instructs you to here with just a www dot. And that would be done just the same as an A record. So, and it's the same IP address. You can paste that in and you'd add that record yourself. And that's it. That's it connected then. As you can see, it says success. And um, yeah, it takes up to 48 hours for that to take effect. You'd select done there. And within two days, that website would be connected to your GoDaddy domain. And that concludes the video tutorial. So like I said, there's a free trial version of GoDaddy accessible as a link in the description for this video. So you can give that a click. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of that nature, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them as comments down below. Thank you very much.